We could have told you about a hundred-year-old organization, about millions of volunteers, about billions of dollars raised despite depressions, recessions, and wars, about medical infrastructure. We could have told you about six thousand employees, about one thousand doctors, twenty-two hundred nurses. We could have told you about building educational institutions. The medical school, the school of nursing, the dental school, the school of occupational therapy, and the school of public health. We could have told you in the past year alone there were 84,000 inpatients in Hadassah's two hospitals, more than 33,000 operations, 10,501 births, a third of which with the help of fertility experts. We could have told you about the 120 outpatient clinics that treat more than a million people a year. We could have told you that half of medical research in Israel's hospital is conducted at Adassa. We could have told you that a million African men, women, and children can see because of Adassa. We could have told you stories about the 700 students from 90 countries. We could have gone on and on and on and on, but we chose to do it differently. We chose to tell you about one vision, about one woman. And the partnership between the women of Hadassah and the people of Israel. We prefer to talk about a vision that has become a reality, about determination, about professionalism with heart, about dedication without limits. We chose to tell you about Zionism and faith in the future. About compassion. About saving lives when all looks lost. We chose to tell you about tomorrow and about the promise it brings. We chose to tell you about hands always stretched out to help through peace and war, about infinite curiosity and the need to repair, about a world that has been becoming better and healthier. For a hundred years, we could have only celebrated our remarkable past, but we chose, as always, to make our eyes look towards the future. <laughs>